to the President of the United States, Jared Kushner. Thank you very much, and thank you to everyone for being here. Uh, before I begin, I want to thank our gracious hosts, His Majesty King Hamad, His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman, and His Excellency Sheikh Salman. I want to thank the Kingdom of Bahrain and the people of Bahrain for being such gracious hosts. When I came and visited uh, with you and your father uh, about a couple months ago in February and presented to him the way we were thinking about solving this conflict and the vision, he said, this is great, this is exactly the thinking that we need in this region and ask that we come back here and try to assemble a bunch of leaders to, to talk this through and to start framing it. And we've been very, very overwhelmed by the reaction we've received. So I really want to thank you. I also want to thank President Trump for his vision and leadership and commitment to bringing peace to the Middle East and also to throughout the entire world. I want to thank Secretary Mnuchin for leading President Trump's delegation to this workshop and for all the amazing work that you and your team have done to help us make this a reality. I also want to thank everyone for joining us here today. The people in this room are not people who shy away from hard problems, and everyone here would like to see us bring an end to this Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The fact that so many global leaders and experts on investment came from all around the world shows that there is a serious interest appetite and willingness by the global community to help the Palestinian people if the right context can be created. For too long, the Palestinian people have been trapped in an inefficient framework of the past. The priest to prosperity vision is a modern framework for a brighter and more prosperous future. It is a vision of what is possible with peace. The conventional wisdom about the fate of the Palestinians is remarkably consistent. In meeting after meeting and conference after conference, I hear the same broken record of negativity about why progress is not possible. When I ask my counterparts why they continue to repeat these same tired talking points, despite no evidence that they lead to progress, they say, well, we've always said these things, and we've always done things this way. While politicians pay lip service, the world moves forward and the Palestinian people continue to be left behind. We all agree on the following goals. We want to see peace, security, and prosperity for Palestinians, Israelis, and everyone else throughout the world. We want the freedom for people to worship without persecution. 